pandas sample. So say you have a data frame and it's pretty long and you wanna get some random samples from that data frame, meaning you wanna have random rows returned to you. Then all you need to do is just call random sample. I use this mostly when I wanna view my data, but when I do dot head just to view the top couple rows, it shows me data that's too homogeneous, meaning it just looks the same. I wanna actually get random samples from my data set. And so I use random sample. And so let's do this. First, I'll import pandas as PD. And then what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna create a data frame. And now this data frame is gonna be restaurants in San Francisco. And we can see here that I have seven restaurants. I have the name of the restaurant, the type, and the average bill. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I wanna get two random rows from this data set. Now, in order to do that, I'm just gonna call df.sample and set n to two. And n is the number of rows that you want returned back to you. I'll go ahead and run this. And you can see here I got row number six and then row number five. It's important to know here too that the rows might appear out of order because these numbers are randomly selected. So you see how six appears above five, even though five is above six in the first data frame. Now the other interesting thing too is if I run this same exact um, function, I'll get different rows. And this is because it's randomly selecting different rows each time. We'll talk about how to get the same random rows uh, in a second here. Now, instead of setting n equals two, what I can also do is I can also specify frac. And frac stands for fraction, meaning what fraction of your data set do you want returned back to you? And in this case, I want 40% of my data frame returned. So in order to do that, I'll represent 40% in decimal form and I'll say 0.4. I'll run this and I'll get three rows back. And that is because 40% of seven rows is 2.8 and pandas just rounds up and returns uh, three rows to you. Now, by default, pandas will only select a random row once. However, what if you wanted rows to be able to be selected more than once? Well, then all you need to do is just set replace to true. So here I'm gonna set my n to five, so I want five random rows returned to me, but with replace equals true, that means a random row can be selected more than once. I'll run this, and you'll see here that I got foreign cinema twice, and I got Tompkins twice. It's because replace equals true in this case. Next, what I can do is I can also set my weights. And so weights are a way to, um, well, let me rephrase. Pandas will give each row an equal chance to be returned back to you. Meaning if you have seven rows, each row has a one in seven chance to be returned back to you. However, what if you wanted to increase the weights of certain rows? Meaning, hey, I want restaurants to have a higher chance to be returned to me than the bars on this data set. Well, all you need to do is just set random weights for that, or rate weights for that. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give restaurants a weight of five and bars a weight of one meaning restaurants have a five times likely more chance to get selected than the bars do. And in order to use this, I'm just gonna create a new column, DF weights, and then here I'm just gonna do a random fun or ran uh, land lambda function that will assign restaurants the value of five and bars the value of one. Go ahead and run this, and now you can see that my restaurants all have a weight of five and my bars have a weight of zero. So what I'll do here is I will, randomly select a certain amount here. And here I wanna get three random rows. I'm gonna pass the weights right here, which is my chance of selecting that certain row. And in order for this to work and us to have the same results, I'm gonna have a random state equals 42. Now, random state is, think of it as the state of your random generator, meaning you can get different random numbers each time. However, if you wanna get consistent random numbers, then you, set, then you set a random state. So if you set your random state to 42, you'll get the same results as me. I'll go ahead and run this, and you can see here that I have two restaurants out of my three selections, even though restaurants was less than half the chance up here. And that's because restaurants have a higher chance to be picked because I set the weights of the restaurants to be higher. Okay? Now, a little fun fact with this too, which I don't use very often, but you can also select random columns. So here I'm selecting n equals two, and I'm telling uh, pandas that I wanna select random columns. So here I'll get two random columns. I'll go ahead and run this, and here I got two random columns from my data frame. And remember, if you do not set a random state, if you run the same exact function one more time, you'll get different results. And in this case, I'll get different columns. Now, in this one, it looks like it's the same exact columns, just different order. Let me run it one more time. 
same exact thing again. There we go. So now I got a name and I got the weights. And that is Panda's sample. 